Hi, my name is Jim Kirstein. I'm the author of The Butcher's Guide and Insider's View. I'm going to show you today how to take a pork butt roast and make some country styles of pork roast and perhaps some pork steaks out of it. I bought this pork butt shoulder roast at my local Safeway store for 99 cents a pound. So it weighs about 8 pounds. So this is an $8 piece of meat. It's a great piece of meat to practice your butchering skills on. All I have is a nice sharp Forstner boning knife. First thing you want to do after you unwrap it is you want to kind of dry it off with a paper towel. When you do that, you kind of feel around. You may find like a sharp bone or something. There's one there and you just want to kind of cut that off. Easier to do this now than later and to find it in your food. Okay, we're going to start, we're going to take the bone out and what you want to do is you want to start with the roast fat side down. The top part of this bone, it's a blade bone, is flat. So if you cut from the corner across just like that, kind of hold your knife down next to the bone and slide it along and you'll just kind of open it up and expose it and when you kind of exposed, what you want to do is you want to take the point of your knife and I'll show you why that's important and kind of outline the bone just cut down about a half inch into the meat, it's okay to do that okay, and then the other end of the bone, you kind of want to do the same thing there as well Okay. And then you want to flip it over, grab that little loose piece that you started on there. It's kind of this, this is kind of a little, I don't know, a little round piece on top of the bone. If you kind of reach in there and kind of pull and push as you, you do, you can kind of see you kind of come across there. Then what you need to do is go over the top of that bone, cutting straight down as you can. And I'll show you in just a second why we outlined that bone. See, when you do that and come down around, that bone comes up very slickly, very evenly like that, okay? So now you have this, this flappy kind of piece here that you cut off and remove the bone from. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut that across just like that, okay? And we're going to remove that and that'll be really easy to cut into some country styles. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the roast, we're going to kind of square it up, we're going to cut this piece off as well, just like that, okay? Now this roast, the way it is, we're going to trim a little of this fat on the outside here. This is a nice lean one. There's really not a lot of additional fat on it. There's not a lot of waste to this hunk. We're going to set that over here with our bone. Now this piece, you could put some string around it, tie it as a roast. We'll just go ahead and do that here. We'll, we'll tie a couple of strings. There's a video on my website too where I'll teach you how to tie this knot. But we're just going to put a couple quick strings around this. Turn it into a roast at this end because it's a little easier to do while it's a whole roast. Put one more string around it, make it a nice roast. Again, I should go slow and show you the knot, but there's another video you can watch to, to see how to do that. Okay. In barbecue competition, they call this the money muscle. This is the piece they select out to give to the judges. It's really a nice piece of meat. Anyway, what we're going to do, this could be another string, another nice roast, but what I'm going to do is cut a couple of pork steaks off the end of it here. We're just going to slice straight down. See what a nice pork steak that is. And if you wanted to, you could, instead of cutting a roast, you could cut this whole piece into steaks down to about here. Sometimes the fat end might be better used as a country style. So we're going to set this roast over here. We're going to couple cut a couple nice pork steaks. Now we're going to go back to these pieces that we cut off. And this one, what we want to do is we want to trim that kind of heavy fat cover off the top because it's easier to do. And again, this is a great way to practice your knife, your butchering skills. Use, learn to use better knife skills. If you're just new at this, I probably would encourage you to be also using a, a safety cutting glove just because it's a good idea. Now this piece of meat, you can do anything with it. You could take and slice it. You really can't do anything wrong with it. You could slice it thinly into stir-fry meat. You could cut it into country styles, which is what we're going to do. And just to, to cut it in, there's a little piece of bone. You can kind of feel those when you do just cut that off. To cut it into country styles, it's really just, country styles are just nice even chunks of meat. So we're going to cut that into country styles there. We're going to take this one and cut it into a couple more country styles. 
And we're going to take this other piece of meat that we cut off, do the same thing with that, trim off the fat, and do the same thing with that. We're going to take it, trim off any of this fat or gristle or things that you really don't want to eat. And you can see there's really very little waste here. And again, we're just going to cut it into, into country style chunks. You could also cut this into pork stew or you could grind it into pork sausage. This is a good little piece there for sausage. There's another little piece to cut off. Really, you really can't cut this wrongly. Just cut that again into a couple more nice country styles. So you can see there, for eight bucks, we've got a, two nice packages of country styles. A nice pork roast. We'll get the pork roast behind there. It's probably easier to see that way. And pork steak. So. Four dinners, eight bucks, probably two dinners out of this one for a family of two, probably five dinners easily. There you go. Hope you give it a try. Thank you.